Today is a special episode. We compare Dr. Data Insights, a man with over a decade worth of analytical experience, has delivered his fair share of dashboards, digital strategies, reports, and clinically reviewed papers, his opponent none other than the young but famous ChatGPT, the natural language model that keeps on learning and improving every single day. Just to make this even more difficult for him, we will use the Data Analyst GPT. Three questions, same data set. Point is given for the most complete answer. Who is going to be the judge? Co-pilot. Stay tuned to find out the winner. Question two. Do repeat admissions correlate with longer average length of stay? Okay, so uh, let's catch up. Let's let's try and make sure we win the second round. Now, uh, repeat admissions. Now, just looking at this table, especially I guess one of the key identifiers will be ID, which I'm presuming is admissions ID because the sheet is called hospital admissions and at the same time, there's nothing to indicate it might be a patient ID. Um, if I just highlight over this column and do a highlight cell values for duplicate values, um, hide it in light red, you can see that none of the values are highlighted, which indicates there's no duplication in this specific data set. So without enough key identifiers, I am tempted to say that actually there is no repeated admission or there's not enough information to strictly clarify that there's repeated admissions in this specific data set. Now that might put me in the losing side but I'm gonna stick to my analytical mindset with this looking at the specific data set and I don't see that there's any repeat admissions. Now this is actually a question that ChatGPT itself posed at the beginning so it's not my own personal question, but it'll be interesting to see what its interpretation is given this specific data set. Dr. Data answer. There is not enough key identifiers in this data set to safely presume that there are repeat admissions. The ID column likely refers to unique individual admissions into a single hospital, of which there is no duplication. In order to identify true repeat admissions, a patient identifier or another combination of reference points would be required. All right, really happy with that result. Um, it, it was good to see that Copilot saw my line of thinking uh, regarding this. So it'd be an interesting, obviously, if I wasn't right, to understand the reasons why. Um, ChatGPT, which is answer one. And if you want its full answer, I will put it in the description so you can see the full answer that ChatGPT gave to each question. But it did highlight that there were some repeated admission and made a comparisons of the longer stays. Um, but it's interesting at this section where it kind of um, verifies the methodology behind it and it mentioned with ChatGPT that it was less cautious potentially extrapolating from non-validated assumptions. So when we go to the overall verdict, you can see that although ChatGPT built on a compelling narrative, um, it, it said that my answer had a better methodology and makes a critical point that you can't correlate what you can't define reliably. And that's a powerful truth in healthcare data analysis. Now, I think that this is such a powerful example at uh, ChatGPT making one erroneous assumption and then building a whole narrative around that. Now, in reality, it's built by humans. Humans make lots of mistakes. I make lots of mistakes and make all sorts of assumptions based on those mistakes. But just highlighted that this can happen in AI as well. So if you're not able to reverse engineer it or to understand the context of which a data set is established, you can end up presenting and not understanding why your answer is wrong. So this is such a good example and I'm really happy I won this round. Let's go on to question three and get ourselves a winner.